so same thing can be done very quickly with the table and everything we created the table in previous lectures but as you can see this is a little bit different so what we do now is okay um, obviously uh, there are small lines in the between so one plank two plank three plank and then we create the sofas uh, with respect to that so in my case what I will do with this is again I will uh, create go into polygons create um, what we should do okay so now in order to create the center table for this particular thing we go into polycube click and drag I think click and drag click and drag click and drag how should I do that and W here we go okay so in order to create this table um, the best thing I guess uh, that is supposed to do because I need these center lines as well okay um, I can add the center lines later on as well but then there would be more of an issue so uh, for now let's just bring it here W make sure it's almost of the size that you want um, why is it not popping up in clear order uh, let me hide the attributes and let me just put this tab here uh, let's go back into its height height supposed to be small for now I think point uh, just something like this should do the trick width 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 is supposed to be 2 2.5 I don't know and depth is supposed to be 15 let me just reduce it to for example 13 something again these figures are numbers exactly are not that important as long as the thing looks aesthetically good to you in your own understanding okay so once I have this table available uh, what I can do very simply with this is that I need to create the initial top base with it so I go and uh, its width and I add I think no segments here height no but in depth I can add uh, four five six segments maybe a few more uh, maybe a few more as we go along we will decide later on so we have these segments available the base is supposed to be almost that thick so let's just add some more height to it okay it's supposed to be that much thick so once we have that now I can select these two corner faces okay and then go into mesh edit mesh and extrude remember what extrude does is that it extrudes the certain faces out so in order to work with this tool you need to select the component in my case we selected the face then you click on extrude tool and you get this gizmo then you move this in Z direction and here we go we have the table being created to us fantastic as simple as that once this is there created um, uh, I think what we can do is I can create it in half at that point right click object mode okay once it's created we can duplicate the same half if not we can just simply use the, the same thing select these face press W bring it onto this corner now my table is almost done all I need to do is I need to create close this section of the table very easily so what I do is click object Control D duplicate this entire thing uh, right click go into its faces select this face delete select this face delete okay select these faces hit delete right click object mode so now I have an object remember these holes are there so that basically means that you need to just rotate and rotate and flip it so in order to rotate it completely in opposite angle we know we need supposed to be 180 degrees W and here you go okay so you have this objects available uh, in option, opposite cases but this is something that I won't do right now um, this is you can do what we can do here is that we can uh, go into what we call edit mesh mesh tools and insert edge loop tool and I can insert an edge here on this corner okay and I can extrude this edge till this point as well so you can connect that thing to this point as well um, and uh, that's another way of doing it like we did in previous class uh, in previous with the table so you can right click faces you can select this press W uh, sorry uh, press edit extrude dub and W you can move it to this point as well so this is again something that you can do however there is still a joint in between here right so the actual problem is currently there's no joint here but there is still 
a joint here these are two different vertex and faces so if i control z with this and you can see this joint very clearly now the problem is we need to remove that joint okay so control z control z control z control z control z couple of times how do we remove that joint uh, by simply welding these two objects together so if i bring it here uh, i right click go into face select this object select this object and i can delete the faces so now these two faces are deleted um, actually this is going a long way around it we could have done a more simpler job with this thing actually um, as well but for now uh, let's just complete that and we just put it here okay so now we have this basis available for us i have not welded them together right now but let it be as it is okay then uh, once we have this thing availably done what we because these are two different objects what you can do is you can select sorry this object press 4 so that you can get into vertex mode make sure these two vertex align exactly on top of almost on top of each other to make sure it is aligned properly again you can go on to the vertex mode or uh, the side view of this press 4 space bar to maximize it zoom into it and just check that these two vertex lines almost on top of each other now press the space bar go into perspective press 5 again there we go okay then what you can do is select these both objects together go into added mesh and there is something called <coughs> combine oh sorry mesh and combine okay now um where is we go combine what this will do is it will combine these two objects together so now they all become same thing perfect okay once we have done that uh, what you need to do now is you need to right click vertex okay so we select these two vertex if you select what you would note there are two vertexes here one for the this object one for this object okay uh, if you press 4 i think there was one mechanism of showing it yeah so here you go so you can see this these are two vertex so we put these objects together we combine them but they are not welded together in order to weld them together we select these two vertex we go into edit mesh and then there's something called merge if you select on merge click on this edit vertex merge you would now notice that uh, the result shows poly merge now if you click and try to move it you would find it's completely one vertex if you select this vertex you try to move it you would find these are two vertex but now if you select go into edit mesh and click on merge what this now basically means you have merged the vertex together so uh, the simple trick is again this is a long way around i could have done it more easy way um, sorry for that i guess let we will do more modeling in an easier way this become a little bit longer way but let's just go with it now so edit mesh merge vertex edit mesh merge vertex and complete that so what we did now is we welded all these four corners together okay and uh, it should now be more accurately represented and there should not be any edge available in this corner once we have done that we have the vertex available now if you select it you would find that these four corners are there actually this is what i wanted initially that we have four corners so you can simply right click go into this face one vertex two vertex three vertex four vertex holding down the shift key we selected all these four vertex added mesh we go into extrude remember extrude means it extrudes the wedges down so we select and extrude the legs however uh, once these edges are extruded click on scale or uh, on this box here of scale click on the center blue box and now it reduces the size right because in this image we needed to go in the longer way so what we do here is we did this extrusion then uh, don't let go of the cursor click on this box to uh, scale but if you click on the box it will do it only one direction in order to do it in center click on this center blue box and it should do the scale for us and there we go so now we have scale box available if you go into space side box you and for example in this case you would notice that the scaling is going into the center direction however if you check the image it seems that the corners are straight and it's it's in like this angle so the corners are straight so in order to do that what i go is if i go back into let me just first need to decide so for example in my this view front view so that i get these three views available note that the corners are going in downer corner so what i do is right click go into vertex select the vertex of these four legs press w not on the other corner just this w and move it move it move it till you see this line coming exactly 
straight right so just move it slowly till you see this line becoming exactly straight and now you see this this is what basically we wanted click in this case i mean it's up to you you are modeling it you can do it however you like that's what the beauty of these things are you can design it to whatever perfection you like whatever the customized design so in this case now this is done perfectly now if i go back in this corner again i think let me do this thing for this uh, side this different view so on all four views i did the same thing so first front view now in the side views so my legs segments appear exactly straight almost space bar come back here and now you see your tables are done very 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 quickly object mode here we go perfect right now remaining is the center tabs these center things which have the center holes into it uh, we can extrude them here tick 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 I guess um, we can do that or we can just simply click on create polygon cube and sorry we can just create a simple cube here bring it on top w bring it here bring this cube here um, in fact if you go into the front view on this view you would be more better viewed so if i press come here i think what i'm going to do i'm just going to scale it rather than just worrying about the size w okay so i'm matching the top line with this bottom line you can press five in this case or you can press scale and i can just adjust this a little bit more i can go into my space bar side view and then just move it a little bit smaller i think this is all okay size now perspective and here we go so i just put it here and i think this should be square so let me just make it square Control D and one object, Control D, two object, and so now select all these three, move it to here, scale it a little bit more, I guess, and then adjust them together. So if I move it here, move this guy a little bit here, and there we go. Okay, so we have something of that same object available. So um, I guess the best thing still remaining to do is to adjust the size and the space between all these three together. So just from the top view, let me see if I can adjust the space. Uh, looks better now. Okay, then select all these three components. If you can press four, right click, control, vertex on first, right click, control, vertex on second, right click, control, vertex on third. So this basically means now you are selecting all three components, moving it downwards in this case vertex and from top view you are adjusting this thing on the top view right click perspective here we go okay so these objects appear a little bit close to you here we go okay right click object mode and right click object mode on all three so we have not table available for us as well perfect okay so this environment is complete now if i press six i get the texture available I have the table right click existing material wood material that should do the fine one two three right click existing material wood material that should do the turn fine <clears throat> obviously we have not beveled this thing so one more trick we can do is we can go into edges again i would like to bevel this so i will just bevel these edges and edit mesh bevel them and the settings i would go for again is 0.1 so i would just type in 0.1 with Two value so I select this thing and go into mesh uh, again make sure you are in edges you select the hot sorry ah! edges and you select these edges not the corner one because they are supposed to be sticking with the table they are not supposed to be rounded off so mesh edit mesh again be well and I would just type the value in point one with two values same thing right click object mode what's happening object mode okay we do object mode because if you select an object you want to edit now you are in its edges you are you are editing its components once you are done you are supposed to select the whole object you're supposed to go back into its object mode right so we select these vertical uh, edges go into its bevel same thing here uh, 0.1 with two vertex that should give us a nice round edges 
for this outer ridge let me select the entire table let's see how it goes all right added mesh hit bevel and i think if i go back into pressing five to see how things are looking and let me just reduce it to 0.1 again or 2.1 is fine with two vertex would give me a nice soft corners sorry that should do the trick right click object mode here we go now if i press f6 uh, sorry just six key and we get the tables available for us okay here we go so all done and ready obviously we have not done uv mapping with the these things so the texture may look very awkward in a quick way we can do automatic mapping and that should bring some mm, decency in the scene but sometimes that just doesn't work and we would be doing uv mapping later on more accurately um, to place with the lights uh, to see, see things more accurately uh, and rendering texturing we would be doing later on more in detail obviously uh, let's just hit a render and see this scene as it is and here we go okay so this is again without lights and without proper texturing right now uh, hopefully you like this lectures uh, thank you very much don't forget to subscribe hit that bell icon and leave the comments down below